and it is an honor for us to award Florida's 122 delegate votes to the next president of the United States to, to delay his full-time relocation back to his home state of Florida, Donald J. Trump for the president of the United States. President Trump was formally nominated for re-election by the Republican Party. He made a surprise appearance today, and we'll see the president again tonight as the convention moves into primetime programming under the theme, Land of Promise. CBS 4's Natalie Brand has more from Washington, D.C. This week, it's the Republicans' turn to present their case to the American people. We have to make people safe. We have to make our country safe. Earlier, the president and vice president both traveled to Charlotte, North Carolina, where a limited number of delegates from each state gathered in person to officially cast their ballots to re-nominate them for the party's ticket for the 2020 election. Donald J. Trump, having received a majority of these votes, entitled to be cast at the convention, has been unanimously elected as the Republican Party nominee. Meanwhile, the key speakers on night one include the president's son, Donald Trump Jr., former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley, South Carolina Republican Senator Tim Scott, and St. Louis couple Mark and Patricia McCloskey, who went viral after pointing guns at racial justice protesters. A senior campaign official says President Trump will make surprise appearances throughout the week, including in tonight's broadcast. There are published reports a former producer on the president's former reality show, The Apprentice, helped plan the convention. President Trump also toured a local produce processing and distribution plant while visiting the key battleground state of North Carolina today. We will provide an additional $1 billion to fund the Farmers to Families Food Box program. We need a team that's up to the task. The Biden-Harris campaign has released a new ad slated during the Republican convention. We need to elect someone else in his place. Former Arizona Senator Jeff Flake is one of 27 former lawmakers from the Republican Party who have endorsed the former vice president over President Trump. Natalie Brent, CBS News, Washington. CBS will have special coverage of the Republican National Convention beginning at 10 p.m. tonight right here on CBS 4. 